His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa met with sponsors of the Celebrate Bahrain events at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of the partnership between the public and private sectors to further the kingdom's comprehensive development in line with the visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa. His Royal Highness noted that Bahrain is witnessing unprecedented development across numerous sectors thanks to the effort and determination of Team Bahrain. He expressed appreciation to Bobco Energies, GFH Financial Group, Bank of Bahrain and Kuwait Kuwait Finance House, Eagle Hills, and Batilko for their efforts in supporting Bahrain's celebrations on its national days. His Royal Highness expressed uh, that uh, the celebrations reflect the sense of belonging and unity cherished by the people of Bahrain, noting with pride the people's boundless determination and their passion for achievement. He attributed the success of Bahrain's celebrations to the cooperation and coordination between the various parties involved, all of which carried out their roles perfectly. His Royal Highness affirmed that the role of private sector partners in making the celebrations a success and emphasize their contribution to developing the tourism sector as one of the kingdom's priority sectors. He noted that with the start of the new year, it is important to strengthen the partnership between the public and private sectors to build a bright future for Bahrain and its people. For their part, the sponsors expressed appreciation for His Royal Highness's commitment to strengthening cooperation between the private and pri public sectors across numerous fields. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and several other senior officials also attended the meeting. Under the patronage of the Commander of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the new military judiciary building was opened in Sakhir. The opening of the building coincides with celebrations of the 27th anniversary of the National Guard. After unveiling the memorial plaque, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed toured the building and its facilities, which reflected the National Guard's development and achievements in all its administrative and military sectors. He was accompanied by National Guard Staff Director Lieutenant General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa. The National Guard commander affirmed that the development of the National Guard stems from the support and guidance of the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. General Sheikh Mohammed emphasized the importance of the military judiciary in Bahrain as it is an integral part of the judicial authority and the adjudication of dis disputes. During the opening ceremony, His Highness uh, General Sheikh Mohammed highlighted the importance of developing the legal system within the judicial system in the kingdom. His Highness wished all those working in the military judiciary in the National Guard success in their national tasks and duties. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority, GSA, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, BOC, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressed the importance of the representation of the kingdom at the upcoming 2023 AFC Asian Cup set to be held in Doha, Qatar, between January 12th and February 10th. His Highness Sheikh Khalid was speaking while visiting the national football team during their last training session ahead of their departure for the UAE, where they will hold the final training camp in preparation for the Asian Cup 2023. His Highness Sheikh Khalid conveyed greetings from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the players, affirming the full support of the GSA and BOC for the national football team and commitment to providing all its needs. His Highness Sheikh Khalid urged the players to do their utmost and perform well during the 2023 Asian Cup in a way that reflects the remarkable progress witnessed by sports in Bahrain, thanks to His Highness Sheikh Nasser's vision 
Association an interest in developing Bahraini football, wishing the team success in winning their opening match during the tournament. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stressed that the national football team players should be the best ambassadors of the nation during the Asian Nation Nations Cup and also through consolidating sports principles and values as well as showing good uh, sportsmanship to represent the kingdom well. The Representatives Council held its weekly session chaired by its Speaker Ahmed Al-Msallam. The Council approved a draft law amending Article 9 of Law 58 of the year 2009 on the rights of the elderly. The Council also approved a proposal on the localization of jobs and professions in government agencies and their subsidiaries. The Council approved a proposal including the profits of companies in which the state contributes to the general budget. The Kingdom of Bahrain has made many achievements in 2023 in several fields, including the adoption of the government program 2023-2026 from recovery to sustainable growth, which includes a set of plans, projects and programs to achieve the sustainable development goals. The Kingdom implemented development programs according to the highest standards in all national work schemes or streams uh, to enhance its position in leadership and innovation in all fields, which resulted in Bahrain's receiving praise from the United Nations during the Summit on Sustainable Development Goals, which was held last September. Bahrain also ranked fourth globally in the Islamic Financial Development Report 2023. It also achieved advanced performance in the Information and Communications Technology Development Index 2023, recording a score of 96.5 out of 100 points, making Bahrain among the top 10 countries in the world in digital progress. Sunni Endowments Council Chairman Dr. Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed bin Fais Al Hajri and the members of the council extended their highest appreciation to His Majesty the King for the Royal Trust in appointing them to the Sunni Endowments Council. They also extended their thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for his constant support, interest, and care for all endowment projects. This came during the first regular session of the council. The chairman and members of the Sunni Endowments Council appreciated the great role of His Majesty the King in supporting and sponsoring all charitable and endowment work. And constructing mosques. Uh, they stress their pride in the royal order, appointing them as members of the council, vowing to develop the endowment's work. Under the patronage of the Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi, the Heritage Fe Fe Village Festival concluded, which uh, began during Bahrain's celebrations of its national holidays. During its activities, the Heritage Village highlighted the nation's achievements, which contributes to consolidating the values of belonging and patriotism in citizens, particularly in the youth and children, by introducing them to the unprecedented development the country has achieved. The Information and E-Government Authority Deputy CEO for Statistics and Population Registry, Dua Al-Harman, has announced the launch of the Household Income and Expenditure Survey 2024 during the period from January to December 2024. She indicated that this national survey aims to collect data from a random sample of approximately 6,000 Bahraini and non-Bahraini families from all governance. About 35 field researchers will participate in it who were selected according to a set of precise criteria. She also indicated that the most important objectives of the survey focus on knowing household spending on goods and the most common goods and services that families are willing to consume, which are included in the calculation of the gross domestic production, as well as knowing the changes in prices of these goods, which reveal the rate of inflation, which is directly involved in the bank's interest rates, in addition to developing governmental, economic, social and environmental plans and programs. The Ministry of Works revealed its plans to conduct large-scale and renova road renovations in uh, northern Isa town, Dry Dock, Muharraq and Deya during the next few months. In addition to continuing its work on the Al Fatah Highway and other vital roads, the Ministry indicated that comprehensive traffic solutions are subject to government review in an attempt to reduce traffic congestion. It confirmed that other ideas and projects are under scrutiny with various ministries and other relevant government bodies to be implemented. 
Sebastian Loeb is focused on achieving a historic victory for the Bahrain Red Extreme team in the Dakar Rally, which will be held this week in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, following their stunning pace on the Dakar in 2023 when they took 50% of the stage victories in a record-breaking six-stage win in succession. Loeb and Fabian Loquin have one goal in mind, to better their second place finishes from the past two years as they tackle motorsport's biggest adventure. On board a uh, pro drive hunter car and for the fourth time with the Bahrain Raid Extreme team in the Dakar Rally both drivers which will start with a 28 kilometer demonstration stage held in Al Ula on Friday. Loeb remains more motivated than ever as he looks forward to lead Bahrain Raid Extreme to its first victory in Dakar. The opening round of the 2024 Dakar Rally is considered the fifth to be held in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and constitutes a severe test of human endurance and technical engineering.